All right, lesson one for combinations, aka groups, arrangements, where order does not matter any longer. So one three was about permutations where order does matter. In today's lesson, we can disregard that. That's why I'm using the idea of just groups. All right. Um, let's look at this first problem. We're designing a cereal box ad. Advertisement for a company, let's say it's um, Kellogg or something like that. Each box contains two of the five different stickers. Yeah? How many different boxes of cereal are there of our particular, I don't know, whatever it is, Captain Crunch, Rice Krispies, uh, whatever tricks uh, kids eat these days, right? Um, so think about the stickers. We got A, B, C, D, E, right? And I have to like put them in. Like the machine's gonna put in two of those, any two. Could be those two, could be these two, right? Whichever. And in order, how it puts them in, B first, A, it doesn't really matter. So as we make a list, right, we could count these up. Uh, a would go, could be with any of those five, four. And then B can no longer go with A any longer. It can only go with C and D, because we already have A with B again. So we've got three more, uh, two more options, B, C, B, D, and B, E, yeah? Uh, I don't know why I stopped with this list, whoops, with only five of them. Here we go. And uh, C, C would uh, go with C, uh, D, and C, E, and D would go with D and E, and E would go with nobody because E has already been in all five of them. Yeah, so we could add these up and say, oh, this is four plus three plus two plus one. So this is 10. There are 10 groups. Now, if our numbers are large, other than five different stickers, this becomes problematic. That is, it becomes really long addition problems. And uh, most of us are not fond of doing long, tedious problems. So uh, let's look at a shortcut for this problem. Um, let's start with looking at 30. 30 students instead of five stickers. Okay, example two. They're told to create pairs between themselves. How many different pairs are possible? Well, we know that the first student, again here, would have 29 options. The second student would only have 28. Yes, and so on and so forth down the list. Uh, so again, this is kind of tough. So this raises the idea of uh, we need a formula to be able to do this. And we know that multiplication is a shortcut. Yes, we cannot use the permutation formula from yesterday, which was uh, where order mattered, because in this case, um, how they pair themselves up, A with B or B with A, doesn't really matter. So. Um, yesterday where order did matter it would be something like 30 pick 2 and that would be 30 factorial over 28 factorial because remember we subtract the 30 and the 2 and we could figure that out but today we're doing combinations so we're going to have something extra and notice in my formula for combinations that's what the c stands for I still have the n factorial and the n minus r factorial, but now we have something extra in the denominator. And that's because we have less options now with combinations. Because remember, if you have a, b, and c, or b, a, and c, right? Those are the same things, as would be c, b, a. In, in permutations or arrangements, those would be different things. So the, what is that extra mysterious thing, Mr. Larson? Please reveal it. We're going to divide by r factorial. Yes? Uh, that's going to reduce and like cancel out all these extra 
copies of things that we don't really need from yesterday. So notice the formula is very similar to what we just did. Make sure you have it down and here we go. Marathon, 50 runners, the top 10 advance. Okay. And also, uh, three, the top three finishers get different cash prizes. All right, so we got two questions to answer. Number one, how many ways are there to qualify for the Olympics? So meaning, how many groups of 10 are there in this 50? It's gonna be a huge number. Yeah? And then how many ways are there to win? All right, so our formula says we're gonna do 50, choose 10. All right, and in this last problem, we're gonna, since they're, we're asking how many ways are there to win, and here, it's not a matter of just being in the top three, you actually want to be in the top spot or the second spot or the third spot. So order is a good idea. Now we gotta do permutations, okay? So here order is not a big deal, but here order is. So we're gonna do 50, pick three. Now let's do the bottom one because we know how to do that from yesterday. 50 factorial, 47 factorial, Reminder, we subtract the two numbers and then take the factorial. And then, whoop, 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 whoop. that's it, okay? All right. And, uh, well, this is just, oops, 50 times 49 times 48. And that's gonna give me my answer. You can go to your machine and do that. I'm grabbing my calculator and uh, I get, one million, one, no, sorry, not one million, 117,600 ways for the top three medals to be handed out. Now let's go back to the Olympics. What is this new formula, Mr. Larson? Well, it starts off and smells an awful lot like permutation. 50 factorial, just like we did below. Now we are going to subtract those two just like the yesterday so we're gonna get a 40 factorial but now we need the extra piece we got to cut out all the different repetitions and so in this case it's going to be we just take this number R yeah notice the R yeah so there, there it is so just the 10 factorial and so we get uh, 50 times 49 da 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 and then we have 40 times 39 times 10, uh, all the way down to one, right? Whoops, let me clarify that. This is gonna be a huge number, by the way. And then we got 10 times nine times eight. All right. Okay, uh, instead of multiplying this out longhand, I am going to uh, do this on my machine. So I'm gonna go to Desmos and I'm gonna type in 50. Nope, I gotta go get combinations, functions. So let me get a large. So we choose NCR, okay? And I'm gonna do 50 comma 10. Notice the number I get is a number in scientific notation. So I'm gonna transfer that number, a portion of that number anyways, uh, let me quickly take a screenshot here so you can kind of see. I'm only going to take this portion of the number, yeah? I'm going to uh, cut it off right there, and then I need to remember to bring this times 10 to the 10th. All right, so I'm going to go back to my homework page. Uh, there we go and say this is 1.027 times 10 to the 10th. Yeah. And this number would be written as 1.027. That would be three places. Uh, because it's scientific no indication, you remember that we have slid the decimal 10 places, so I would need to go an additional seven places. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And so 10 billion ways for their groups to advance to the Olympics. 
Uh, I'm going to go back to uh, this problem here. My very first problem, I'll do it with a formula now, just so you can see is smaller numbers. So here we had five, choose two stickers, right? So five factorial over uh, five minus two would be three factorial, two factorial. And uh, five factorial is five times four times three times two times one. Three factorial is three times two times one. And then two factorial is two times one. Well, I can see that those cancel those. And so I've got 20 divided by two, which is giving me my answer of 10. Yeah? And if I was doing the 30 students, yeah, creating pairs, I would do 30 and not pick this time, right? We would do choose two and it would be 30 factorial over 28 factorial and then two factorial. Um, and that's gonna be 30 times 29 over two times one. So whatever that is on my calculator, I get 435 ways for there to count pairs of students in a particular classroom of 30 students. Yeah? All right, well, best of luck as you do your homework problems. Remember, show your work in the first set of problems, the others just set them up and then give me the